Greetings fellow humans, and welcome. While I continue to procrastinate making my gentleman Jack Skellington tailcoat because I am sad for that project to be over, I thought I would do something useful and make myself a winter skirt. Now, I have endometriosis, and one of the things that happens as part of endometriosis is, depending on hormonal fluctuations, I can experience some pretty significant bloating to the extent that my stomach nearly doubles in size. It's very uncomfortable, and it's very inconvenient because it means the vast majority of my clothing either doesn't fit or is actively painful to wear. So I got to thinking about what kind of garment would work well. Long flowy skirts are a pretty obvious option for me, but generally winter skirts need to be made out of heavier material, and the difficulty with that is that when I'm at full endo belly, having weight on my stomach is also painful. So not only do I need something that is adjustable, I also need something where the entire weight of the garment isn't resting on my waist. I don't really want to faff around with making something adjustable by making multiple types of fastenings in multiple locations, and so I thought, what if I just make it like an apron, but like bigger? Somewhere between an apron, a pinafore, and a wrap dress. I have some ideas of how to do this. I have an internal conceptualized plan. I have no idea if it's actually gonna work. I'm gonna be using this fabric, which is a really nice, really soft, relatively heavyweight black and brown houndstooth jersey. I don't think that making straps or ties out of jersey is gonna go super hot, so that's why I have these two fabrics out and I'm pondering them. Let's get down to it. So. Roughly what I was thinking was pretty much making this like you would a general apron, but instead of kind of stopping it around here, so there's a front panel alone, I was thinking of extending the sides of the skirt so that essentially the edge pieces of the apron would wrap around to the front of garment and have a little leftover in terms of straps to tie at the center somewhere around there. It would still have a little bib uh, probably with a teeny pocket, but that's the rough idea. I think if I extend the edges of the apron far enough on a day that I'm not bloaty, it's just extra layers to keep me cozy. On a day that I am bloaty, there's still enough overlap to actually cover my butt. I think that's the concept I'm gonna go with. The first thing I need to figure out in terms of cutting fabric is how long I actually want this skirt piece to be. I decided to cut the brown fabric long enough to hit my mid-calf when it was attached to the waistband. I cut two panels of my brown fabric and sewed those two panels together so that my wrap skirt would actually be wide enough. To make the straps and the tie waistband, I chalked out and cut multiple strips of my black fabric. I sewed a small section of one black strip to the top edge of the apron style bib so it would have the same look as the straps I was going to attach to the sides. I also wanted to add a band of that black fabric along the bottom of the skirt to tie the look together, so I cut some wider strips to make the bottom band and attach them to each other as well. I pinned the bottom band piece to the bottom of the skirt piece with the right sides of the fabric together and sewed along that edge. I then folded the bottom band in half, turned the inside edge under to meet the seam allowance, pinned that in place and then cuddled down on the sofa for the evening and hand felled the entire thing to finish the band off. So we're back. Yes, we are back. It's the next day. I have some straps to add to the bib. I need to construct the waistband tie situation. And then I need to pleat the skirt and add that to the waistband and also add the bib to the waistband. But like, that should all come together pretty quickly. So we're actually quite close to done. And this has come together way faster than I thought it was going to. Let's get back to construction stuff. Yeah, let's do that. I started by attaching the edges of the three strips I'd cut from my black fabric to create my waistband slash tie. I then took two more strips of the black fabric, pinned one to each side of the apron style bib and seamed each of them in place. I 
I pressed a turning along each edge of the strap pieces, folded the strap in half so the turnings would meet, and pinned all along that open edge. I sewed as close to the strap edge as I could to secure all of the strap's raw edges inside. And I mimicked that stitching on the folded edge of the straps as well, just to create a uniform, symmetrical look. I finished both edges of my very wide apron skirt panel by turning the fabric over twice and stitching that hem down. Then I pinned the flat sections of the skirt to the waistband with the right sides together before moving on to the pleated sections, which I did using my favourite pleating hack, a fork. Seriously, this has saved me so much stress and hassle and makes creating even pleats so much easier. I mean, provided you have a fork the correct width, I suppose. I lined up the apron bib piece with the centre of the skirt with the wrong sides of the skirt piece and bib piece together. You'll see why in a second. And made sure to pin through that as well. I seamed all of that together, then did the same press, fold over and pin system on the waistband as I had on the garment's straps. And again, as with the straps, I stitched along the folded edge of the waistband as well. However, this time it also had an actual functional purpose, because it meant the bib piece that I'd now flipped into its correct position, and the top of the waistband would be securely attached. That's why I originally pinned the bib with its wrong side to the wrong side of the skirt, so its right side would be to the right side of the waistband after the waistband had been finished. And because I wanted to be able to change if the straps crossed at the back or not, I went searching through my haberdashery collection for some appropriate buttons. I grabbed some basic boring ones as they'd be hiding on the inside of the waistband, sussed out the strap length I needed, and then cut and finished off the ends of the straps. I added a buttonhole to each strap, and then got a little visit from my cat tea leaf. Um, mother? Can you come to say hi? I come to see if you have snack. Oof. Bless you. Burb. Nah. Oh, is food? No, not food. Uh, what? No. I do not think so. I am leaving. I do not know why I bothered coming upstairs. Call me when you have cheese. Okay, bye. Tea leaf out. After being so rudely rejected by my only son, I returned to my sewing, positioning and pinning the little pocket I'd made in place, and then sewing said pocket securely. I marked the relevant locations and attached my buttons. I think these were stolen from a duvet cover I cut up for a project or something. And with that final flourish of thread, my apron slash pinafore slash wrap dress thing was complete. So there you go. I have a wrap dress apron pinafore thing. I'm actually really happy with it. It is super comfortable and I think I'm actually going to make another one out of the black fabric that I used to trim this and this sort of beige and black plaid that I have a very small amount of lying around. I think it's really cute. I'm really happy that I managed to come up with a design that is not only adjustable but also has enough strappage that the weight of the skirt won't be resting on my stomach when that would be uncomfortable for me and it was really nice to play around with something that didn't really require a pattern and was almost entirely made of 
squares and rectangles. Those projects always go really quickly. Thank you for hanging out with me on this slightly simpler sewing journey. If you liked this video, then like it. If you disliked it, you can do that too. If you wanted to keep hanging out and watching more of my stuff, that would be very cool. But whether you decide to keep hanging out or not, I hope everything is okay in your world. And I will see you all next time. So hello and what? No, maybe? Oh, oh dear. Oh, that is shiny. I was so focused on where my mic is that I have lost the ability to speak. Remove the socks from the counter and put them on the feet. That's a smart move. Why can I not talk today?